Morris dancers always stand out from the crowd, sporting bells on their feet and varied regional costumes, plus the all-important handkerchief. These traditional English folk dances go back at least to the 14th century, but where exactly they come from, no one seems to know. There is a lot of theories and a lot of stories. One theory is that it's taken up possibly by the churches as a way of fundraising, uh, and the Morris dances would have been almost employed by the church, and people then would have gone to the churches to be entertained. You need at least four for the Morris dance, but the more the merrier, the noisier too, with batons beaten in time. There's a following for this throwback from the past, and this festival has drawn a crowd in a fitting venue, Nottingham, home of medieval legend Robin Hood. But even here, it's hard to win over everybody. Some things you like, and some things are just unacceptable for like, people my age. And I don't, I don't think I would have many friends if I was actually started doing Morris dancing. But others argue this isn't just for the traditionalists. It's a new take on old moves. We kind of formed with, with um, the intention of pushing the boundaries a little bit. We do a lot of fusion stuff. We use non-traditional tunes. This dance uses swords, but still they find enough room at the pub for a round of beer, an even more ancient English tradition. <laughs> 